Hello. I wanted to do a video today um, to give a little glimpse of a medical binder that I put together for um, my youngest, Kenley, who is three and has mild cerebral palsy. I thought maybe it um, could help somebody out there who is trying to figure out how to put a, together a medical binder, or maybe you didn't even know that it was probably a good idea that you did it. Um, you could do it for any of your kids. I should probably have one for my first two children, just because they go to the doctor and doctors ask questions um, that I don't have the answer to because I don't ever remember anything. But um, specifically for any kid who has um, a disability or um, um, any sort of thing that is causing them to go to the doctor more than usual. So uh, my daughter has mild cerebral palsy and we go to doctors a lot, like ridiculous amounts. Doctors after doctors, doctors send us to doctors who in turn send us to doctors. So we have like piles and piles of paperwork. Um, a wise woman, wise woman, once told me to start a medical binder like when Kenley was six months old. And I didn't listen because I'm a rebel. Um, but I should have because I just requested all of her medical paperwork, whatever, from one hospital, uh, she's been there a few times and seen lots of specialists there, but from one hospital, not her pediatrician, not any of the other places we've been to, and I got like a stack of papers that I now have to file, which would have been a lot easier if I just kept the papers that the doctor gave me every time I went there and put them in this binder. But sometimes I'm not smart but I am today, so I'm showing you this binder. So this is what I call my medical binder for Kenley, and I take it everywhere. I take it to every single doctor appointment we have now. I take it to everything, everything. I just take it. I just carry it around with me like a purse. Not really. Um, I, we just are transitioning her from, she's three now, so from early intervention to the school system, which is a big to-do just had a meeting with like a bazillion people who were sitting around a table and asking me questions because they need to know about her and her abilities and her, you know, anything that she has um, trouble with. And they ask very specific questions and you, you go, um, I don't, I don't remember, um, which is fine. You cannot remember, but, um, it's so handy to have it at your fingertips. So I am going to show you, I keep looking at it. I'm going to show you what I have made for her medical binder. And maybe you have a kid with special needs. Maybe you have a friend that has a kid with special needs. Maybe you just want to do this for your kids that don't have special needs. So this is kind of what I put together and uh, it helps a lot. So take a look over here. This is my medical binder. This is Kenley. She's like the cutest, most ornery kid that you'll ever meet in your entire life. Um, I put a picture of her on here so I know whose medical binder it is because that's how smart I am. Um, on the opening right inside, I have, oh, I will zoom in a little bit, um, her medical information like uh, her doctor's because I don't know how many forms I have ever filled out a lot that ask for doctor's information. So it will ask for phone numbers, fax numbers, addresses, what doctors did she see you, when did she start seeing them, which I always leave blank because I have stinking no idea. Um, I probably should know, maybe that would be something to put good, good to put on there. Um, anyways, I have every doctor she's ever seen, this one needs to get updated. It should have the doctor's name, the hospital or the clinic or whatever that they work at. Um, maybe what their title is, like a geneticist, neurologist, physiatrist, ophthalmologist. That way you know what they were seen for. Um, phone number, fax number. 
I have not put the address, but I need to put the address because that is always asked on forms. But it is so nice to have this at your fingertips just for calling different doctors, which you will do often, or putting it on forms. Um, over here, I have this handy dandy thing with a uh, pencil and some um, uh, stickers. Um, I would put post-it notes in there and a pen, which I stole for something else. There was a pen in there. Um, post-it notes are super handy. Ones that can like stick up here. I've got some over here, but um, ones that can, yeah, post-it post -it notes galore. Okay, I've got folders, binders. I don't know what these are called, but they've got pockets inside. Um, I have these for every place she's ever been to. So this one says EPU. That's a place that she had services. I have one for eye, her eyes. I have one um, for, what else do I have in here? Let's see. Um, let's see. Children's Hospital. I have one for imaging. One for eyes, because she's had eye issues. One for hospital stays, one for a place called Casey Kids that she used to be with. Um, I should probably have one for her pediatrician. All of these doctors will give you a printout or you can ask for a printout from your visit and they will print it out. That way you can file it right away. Um, if not, then you have to request their records, which means you will get a huge stack of stuff that you have to paw through and put in the appropriate category sometime at your leisure. Um, so what I do is I take this, if I get forms, I shove them in here real quick, and then sometime I will then file them where they go. So each behind each folder, so this is EPU, she had services there. She had, Occupational therapy there, oh, shaking. Um, physical therapy, speech, and she saw a teacher. So forms for each of those things will go into the appropriate spot. And then these all need to get filed away. Then the next place, children's. She's seen genetics and occupational therapy and physical therapy and physiatry and neurology and on and on and on. So you break it down by each place because it's so nice to be able to just go to the exact spot. Oh, that's me again. Um, the exact spot that um, has the right information because they are going to ask you questions at every appointment that has to do with other appointments and you didn't know and you're going to have three kids with you and you're not even going to be able to think about what you had for breakfast because you probably didn't have breakfast and you probably didn't even have enough coffee that day to get your brain working. So you need it to take it with you. So you can just like hand it to the doctor and say, here, there's everything you need. Don't ask me any more questions. I'm barely keeping sane right now. So anyways, um, make a medical binder. If you have a friend who has a kid with special needs, nicely suggest or ask if they have a medical binder. And if they don't, show them this video. And if they do say like, that's awesome. You're doing great. Let me buy you some coffee because I know you need it. And then give them a hug and let them cry on your shoulder because it's going to happen. Um, I digress. Um, it's a great thing. And I hope you can tweak it to your needs and um, it'll work for you.